In this video, I'll be solving May 2018, question 9, part A. The diagram below not drawn to scale shows the relative positions of three reservoirs, B, F, and G, all on level ground. The distance BF is equal to 32 km, FG is equal to 55 km, angle BFG is 103 degrees, and F is on a bearing of 42 degrees from B. Part 1. Determine the bearing of B from F for one mark. Now the first thing I will do here is to draw a north line at the vertex F. Now the north lines here, NB and NF are parallel lines, and BF is a transversal, and the interior angles on the same side of the transversal are supplementary. So I can write here that angle NFB is equal to 180 degrees minus angle NBF. And I'll write here supplementary angles. So angle NFB is equal to 180 degrees minus 42 degrees. So angle NFB is equal to 138 degrees. So I will label my diagram with angle NFB. This is 138 degrees. Now the bearing is always measured at where we are measuring from, and we are measuring from F. Also, the bearing is always measured in a clockwise direction. This means that the bearing is measured from north to the line BF. So I'll draw this in here. North to the line BF in the clockwise direction. So the bearing of B from F is equal to 360 degrees minus angle NFB. This is equal to 360 degrees minus 138 degrees. This is equal to 222 degrees. Part 2. Calculate the distance BG giving your answer to one decimal place for two marks. Now, on our diagram here, you could see that they gave us the two sides and the angle formed between them. So, I will use the cosine rule. Now, they want us to find BG, and BG is side F, BF is side G, and FG is side B. So, I'll write here that B is equal to 55 kilometers, G is equal to 32 kilometers, F is equal to 103 degrees, and side F, which is BG, is what we want to find. So I'll write the cosine rule here, that F squared is equal to B squared plus G squared, minus 2bg cos angle f. So f squared and substituting the values of b, g and angle f, we have here that this is 55 squared plus 32 squared minus 2 multiplied by 55 multiplied by 32 cos angle 103 degrees F squared is equal to 4840.8. So F here is the square root of 4840.8. F here is equal to 69.6 .6 kilometers, and this is the one decimal place. So on our diagram, I'll place here that F is 
0.6 kilometers. Part 3. Calculated the nearest degree the bearing of G from B for 3 months. Now on our diagram here, the bearing of G from B is this angle, the sum of 42 degrees and angle B. And to find the angle B, I will use sine rule because I have an angle and its side and the side that is opposite the angle that I want to find. So I can write here that B is equal to 55 kilometers. F is equal to 69.6 .6 kilometers. Angle F is equal to 103 degrees. And I'll write sine rule here as F all over sine F is equal to B all over sine B. Now I want to make angle B the subject of the formula, so I'm going to cross multiply here. This is F sine B is equal to B sine F. Dividing both sides of the equation by F, F cancels, so I remain here with sine B is equal to B sine angle F all over F. Now I want to make B the subject of the formula, so B will be equal to sine inverse B sine F divided by F. So substituting the values of B, F and angle F, this becomes sine inverse 55 multiplied by sine 103 degrees divided by 69.6. .6. So B here is equal to 50 degrees to the nearest degree. So the bearing of G from B is equal to angle N B F plus angle F B G. This is equal to 42 degrees plus 50 degrees, which is equal to 92 degrees. Part B. The diagram below, not drawn to scale, shows a circle with center O. The points A, B, C, and M are on the circumference. The straight line CN is a tangent to the circle at the point C and is perpendicular to BN. Determine given a reason for your answer. Part 1. Angle ABC for 2 marks. From our diagram here, angle ABC is this angle here. Now, the angle in a semicircle is a right angle. So, angle ACB is 90 degrees here. And I could find angle ABC by adding up these two angles and subtracting it from 180 degrees. So I could write here, angle ACB is equal to 90 degrees, and the reason is it's the angle in a semicircle. And angle ABC is equal to 180 degrees minus angle BAC. plus angle ACB. And this is the sum of the angles in a triangle. So this is equal to 180 degrees minus 58 degrees plus 90 degrees, this is equal to 180 degrees, minus 148 degrees, this is equal to 32 degrees. So I will write this into my diagram here. 
part 2, angle CMB for 2 marks. So this is angle CMB. Now we could see here that AB MC is a cyclic quadrilateral. And we know that for cyclic quadrilaterals, the opposite angles are supplementary. So I could say here that 180 degrees minus angle BAC, which is 58 degrees, will give me angle CMB. So I will write here that ACMB is a cyclic quadrilateral. So angle CMB is equal to 180 degrees minus angle BAC. And the reason for this is opposite angles are supplementary in a cyclic quadrilateral. So this is 180 degrees minus angle BAC, which is 58 degrees. This is equal to 122 degrees. So I'll write this into the diagram here. 122 degrees. Part 3, angle NCM for 2 marks. Now in our diagram, this here is angle NCM. And we know that the exterior angle is equal to the interior opposite angle in a cyclic quadrilateral. So this angle here, angle CMN, is 58 degrees. And I could add up 58 degrees to 90 degrees and subtract the total from 180 degrees to get angle NCM. So I can state here that angle CMN is equal to 58 degrees because the exterior angle is equal to the interior opposite angle in a cyclic quadrilateral. I can also say that angle NCM is equal to 180 degrees minus angle CMN plus angle CNM. And this is so because the sum of the angles in a triangle is equal to 180 degrees. So this is 180 degrees minus 58 degrees plus 90 degrees. This is equal to 180 degrees minus 148 degrees. This is equal to 32 degrees. So I'll write this into the diagram here. 